Well, it's time for another episode of Tiny Hauser versus Costco. just be for my own entertainment that I have this small series, this mini series, if you will. Tiny Hauser versus Costco is a mini series. Let it be known. It is possible to live in a tiny house and shop at Costco. FYI. Tiny house pro tip, this is where you buy your composting toilet bags. Right here. Bio bag, you want the tall kitchen food scrap ones for the toilets. You get 60 bags and they are $13.99. Also, if you get the three gallon ones, you get 125 for $11.99. And these are the ones that you're gonna use if you make a freezer cube. And you do wanna make a freezer cube because that is how you keep your tiny house from smelling. Get a bin from Walmart, Put one of these in it and there you go. Freeze your food scraps, then they won't smell in the trash. Toilet, freezer cube. That concludes this composting tutorial. So I'm out of coffee, which is tragic. And I've been looking at the Costco options and the one that I normally buy is like $5 more expensive than normal. Why? So I was looking uh, at my other options and I found this, which looks like a smaller company, the Coffee Farmers Co-op. It's also organic and it also, the packaging is biodegradable. So it's $11.99. I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I found my Costco risk of the day. Every time I come here, I try to buy something that's like a little outside of my comfort zone. Or I don't try to, but I, I tend to. And today I think it's going to be almond flour because it's gluten-free and it's lower carb. It's not organic, which I don't love, but two out of three is not bad. And I am trying to eat lower carb because I have to look cute for Tiny Fest. Oh, and check out what's next door. This is what got me last time. <laughs> and the funniest part is that I don't even bake. I just eat them. This is straight up, oh, 72 ounces. They put it in ounces, that's nice. How many pounds is that? <laughs> that makes me feel better. 72 ounces, I ate 72 ounces of chocolate chips. Sounds so much less offensive than I ate like six pounds. <laughs> Brain food. These are shaped like brains. I mean, it literally has to be a clue from the universe. I eat a lot of them just in case. Oh my God, I want these so hard. Okay, unfortunately I did not get this part on camera, but I stopped at the electronic section and asked somebody there if they had any info on tiny house, like off-grid Wi-Fi options. And the guy there was super helpful. So we made some progress on that. <laughs> Thank you, kind Costco human in the electronics department at the Westminster Costco, Colorado. I appreciate you. All right, we made it out of Costco. Fortunately, I did remember to grind the coffee. I wish I had it on camera, but the coffee machine exploded on me. And uh, yeah, it was really dramatic. But anyway, we, we made it out alive. Um, total damage was 145 and change, which is not bad considering I got four pounds of organic coffee and sparkling waters to last me a month and 
really good stuff like organic Greek yogurt and goji berries and beans and free range eggs and two pounds of strawberries and all kinds of things that are gonna last me um, a while. So friends, you can shop at Costco and live in a tiny house. You can eat organic and fresh and keep your costs down. Um, hopefully, if you're not in a food desert, that's a thing worth a Google if you don't know what that is. Um, I'm grateful to live near a Costco. And if anybody ever wants to do a Costco versus Tiny Hauser episode and then tag me in it, that would be amazing. Okay, friends, that's all for now. Now we have to go get all of these groceries to fit in my house. All right, friends, we made it. Here is the final receipt. Let's see what I got. <clears throat> okay. Eight pack of Bush's baked beans. Four pounds of organic coffee. 18 free range eggs. I got, oop. Let's see how much salmon. Hmm. I got two pounds of salmon. I got sparkling water that's going to last me about a month. This giant thing of Kalamata olives. Goji berries, which I'm extremely excited about. The almond flour that I took a risk on. That is three pounds of it. We got some organic Greek yogurt. We got some strawberries that looks like. Uh, two pounds of strawberries. Ugh. I got two 1.7 pound bags of organic walnuts. A... And a giant bag of six avocados. And all of that was 145.57 plus tax. So... Yeah, this is a lot of food. I mean, for me to eat four pounds of walnuts, um, it'll definitely happen, but I'll have groceries for a while. And this is, you know, wild caught salmon, right? Right? Hold on. Okay. It's not. But, um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is organic. A lot of it is gluten-free. A lot of it um, will keep for a while. Some of it, like the fish and the eggs and the strawberries, I'm going to have to eat, but that will definitely happen. So there you have it, friends. It is possible to live in a tiny house and shop at Costco. That was actually one of my really big fears in going tiny is that I wasn't going to be able to shop at Costco. I was like, it's not going to fit. And thanks to my special Costco drawer, which I will insert here, it does. And this, friends, is my Costco drawer. As you can see, it's deep. That whole thing opens up. That's about two feet on the side. And that's where I keep the Costco supplies. Fun fact about my Costco drawer. This is where some people would put their uh, cat litter box. Like they'd put an opening right there where the cat would go in. And then this is how they would clean it. I prefer to use mine for Costco. Thanks for joining me.